What's up, Packers fans? Aaron Negler here with your good, bad, and the ugly from the Packers' wild win over the Chicago Bears on Monday night. With the good, we have so many people in contention here. You could go with Devontae Adams for another incredible game. Dennis Kelly stepping in as an injury replacement at right tackle and holding down the fort. Razul Douglas with a pick six. There is an endless list of guys you could put here, but ultimately... I'm going to go with Aaron Rodgers. Four more touchdowns, 340-plus yards, no interceptions, 141 quarterback rating. The guy is on another level. First quarterback with the Packers, who have been around for 100 years, by the way, to ever have three games in a row over 300 yards with no interceptions. The man just continues to amaze. With the bad, man, obviously we know where this is headed. With the bad, I'm going to go with the returners on special teams. Obviously, we've got a lot more to go in that regard but with Malik Taylor setting the tone so to speak with that inexplicable catch out of bounds on a kickoff uh, Amari Rogers muffing a punt just have to get the return game fixed it was just hard to watch last night and then with the ugly how do you go with anybody else other than Mo Drayton his special teams unit a colossal blundering mistake after mistake after mistake in front of a national audience you can bet the rest of the league paying attention to everything going on when it comes to special teams in Green Bay and we'll do everything they can to try to exploit it. Matt LaFleur has a lot of work to do there. Let me know in the comments below, what are your good, bad, and the ugly from the Packers win over the Bears? And as always, Go Pack Go!